Okay, so for creating the tool support, um, we are going to draw the front, top, and right side view, plus the isometric view. The front view and right side view are already created um, in the assignment sheet. So all we have to do is just follow the dimensions on that. So I will draw those two views first, and then we'll create the top view that's not done yet. And we'll also create the isometric view. So let's start, it says the length of this is six inches. The height is 2.62. The top piece is 3.5 long. And I don't know what angle that is, so we're going to start back over here. It says the front lip is one inch tall at 1.5. And then we just connect it back up to there. We don't need to know this angle because we have everything else. Uh, it says that this bottom piece is a half an inch tall, so we're going to offset this up 0.5 and there's a notch up here at the top so let's zoom in a little bit it says that the top piece is 0.75 plus 0.5 so that's 1.25 i'm just going to draw right over top of this 1.25 the thickness, it doesn't say the thickness, but it does say that the whole thing is 2.62 tall, minus 0.5 for this bottom, minus one, minus 0.75. So I have to take 2.62, minus 0.75, minus one, minus 0.5. That would be 0 0.37, so 0.37. And then it says to go back this way, 0. 0.5, down 0. 0.75, this way two, and just reverse it. Up 0. 0.75, over 0. 0.5, and up. Now we just trim out this. And basically our front view is done. So let's go to our right side view. I'm going to go over one inch. And 2.62 is the height. Three inches is the width. Back down even over here. And over. I know that this notch goes from here over 0.5 and down and i'm going to line up this one too from here over 0.5 and down and we can trim these and those and then these corners these two plus this corner are going to come straight across we have to show those as hidden lines so from here across um, here across and from here across and then all three of these lines are we go over to properties to line type we can change them to hidden lines so there is the right side view well they haven't drawn for us the front view so we're going to draw that front view now so from here, I'm coming up one inch. And then I know the length is six. I know the width is three. Six by three. And I know there's a line across right here for this one. And from this. And from this. And I know that the inside of this, this one here, and this one here are going to be hidden. 
I'll hold the shift key down, pick both of these, and turn them into hidden. But we also have this notch right here, and that notch is, runs right along here and here, and it's 0.5, so I'm going to offset this one up 0.5, and this one down 0.5, and both of those are going to be hidden also. Great. So that's what the top view looks like. So the isometric view, let's just see what it is. It is, I have to make sure that polar is turned on and 30 degree is turned on. So I'm going to start about here. The length is six. The width is three. And the height is 2.62. By three, by 2.62. <clears throat> I know this top piece is 3.5 by three. And I know that this bottom edge is one inch tall. Comes back this way, 1.5. And then it angles up to this corner. Three inches wide, 1.5 this way, and it disappears here, so I can just trim this piece off. Okay, so I can't even see this front, this front edge here. I can't see that. So let's create this notch now, right here. So from this corner, I know that this piece right here was 1.25. And then the thickness of it, we calculated at 0.37. And back in this direction, 0.5. Right. Yep, 0.5. Down, 0.75. Open is 2. Up, 0.75. Down, 0.75. Open is 2. And back up to the top. And then we'll go over. And this is over. Let's trim out these pieces. And let's draw the face of this. Three inches. Up. Draw the inside corner here three inches, and up, and from here we go this direction until it disappears. Last thing is creating these notches. Well, from, I know from here it's up 0.5 and over 0.5 and back down. From here up Five over point five and back down. And then this line comes all the way across and trim. And we have to see this line here goes across. But it lines up perfectly with this other line, so I'm just going to put it there. And I can't see any of those. So that's all there is. Can't see any more of that, so that would be the tool support. Make sure you label it in your title block as tool support. If you need to move the um, title block so the tool support fits, feel free to do that. Save that. Um, convert it to a picture file through either a screenshot or print screen or using the snipping tool and submit the picture view of that assignment. Okay, hope that was helpful.